fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. early years of the western United States, the only means of fast travel were the stagecoach lines. But the trails they followed were rough and dangerous, and the passengers were faced with a constant threat of holdups by road agents and hostile Indians. It was not until the masked rider of the plains started his great fight for law and order that travel in the new territory became safe. It was he more than any other man who blazed the trail for progress and finally made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading west to the Pecos. I will Silver! Away! <laughs> Ranger and Tonto, noticing increasing restlessness in Silver, decided that the big stallion needed a rest, and they headed for the west and Mustang Mag's ranch. From here on, we can follow the stage trail, Tonto. That's right. That'll save time and make traveling easier for Silver. Uh-huh. The big fellow was more restless than ever last night. I'm afraid he's going to bolt and run away at the first opportunity. Maybe rest fix him. We see soon. I hope so. We've never known Silver to act this way. Why, I, I'd as soon expect you to leave me as Silver, Tonto. I... I wonder. Wonder what? If Silver will get over this spell of restlessness. If he doesn't, well, I don't like to think about that. Uh, that's right. Come on, Silver, old fellow. We'll stop at the stage station just ahead and you can drink. We need water, too. Well, we can fill our canteens there. That's right. <sighs> Must be a stage due. We're getting the mailbags ready. Fresh horses, too. Ah. There you are, Silver. Drink. Stage come. Want to hear it. What's the matter, Silver? Scout's drinking. You should be thirsty, big fellow. Wait. Yes? Look. Silver, watch Corral. You see? Yes. What is it, fellow? Ah, come on, then. I'll walk to the corral with you. Look. Silver, see Colt. Nuzzling the colt. All right, you stand where you are and don't move. You're covered, both of you. You're the station agent, aren't you? I am. And I got to take my hat off to you for one thing. You got plenty of nerve to come here. We just stopped to water our horses. Yeah? Well, you stopped at the wrong place. You most likely thought you'd have me too scared to pull a gun on you. Oh, my mask. I should have thought about it when I stopped, Agent, but I've been concerned about my horse. Yeah, tell that to the judge that hears you in your trial. Stage, come now. Stage will take care of itself. And what I said for the mass man goes for you too, Injun. 
I reckon the two of you are doggone interested in that stage, ain't you? Why? I ain't answering questions. Just you stay right there and don't move. I'm watching you till they change horses and move on. Handle the change of horses yourself, boys. I'm covering this hombre. Who you got, Matty? Get them horses changed and get going while you got the chance. I ain't taking no chances with an attempt to rescue the gent inside the stage. We'll hitch up the fresh horses, Matty. Just keep that critter covered. We'll send the lawman to you from town. You got the prisoner, ain't you? Right. The marshal with you? I'm here, Matty, and taking no chances. What prisoner are you talking about? He'll be quiet. Bad horse there. Huh? Yes, they're having trouble with one of those horses, Agent. Look out there! <laughs> you want me to turn my head so as you can jump me, huh? No. There's a woman on board that stage, and she'll get hurt if the horses break loose. Look at that big black. Oh, they'll handle him. Look out there. That horse will break leather. Help, Matty. <laughs> What's that horse? Here, Silver. Hip. Come on, boy. Hey, you. Come on, Silver. Steady there. Steady now. Get a rope on him. Here, Tonto, catch this bridle. Steady, fellow. Um, he got him. Here, I'll help. Great day. He almost got loose. There. Now he'll stay in place. Is the horse quieted for keeps? I don't think there'll be any more trouble now that the harness is on. Hey, Ginger, mister, you sure thought fast. I never saw anything like the way you got to your white horse and grabbed the big black. I had my gun on you. I might have fired. I forgot you had me covered. Uh, you could have took advantage of the chance to get the prisoner loose. Yes, but I've tried to explain that I wasn't here to release a prisoner. You saw my mask and leaped to conclusions. Guess you was wrong, Matty. Well, go on, driver. Go on your way. I sure will. If I ginger me and the guard will be downright glad when this stage load of dynamite on two legs is took to where it's going. Mister, you with the mask. Yes. We owe you something. You say, well, we might have been killed if those horses had run away. Well, I'm glad it didn't happen. I'm going now. Go on there. Get back in. Watch the missile. Get back. Come on. Get on. You might as well put up that gun, Matty. You haven't any cause to arrest me. <laughs> you made me feel right foolish jumping like you did while you was covered. Who was the prisoner with the marshal? A uh, critter by the name of Fleck. A nonary cuss, too. The law had a tough time getting him. Fleck. I've heard of him. Some of his gang are still free. The whole line has been warned to be on the lookout for a play to bust Fleck loose from the marshal's custody. No wonder you pulled a gun on me. Well, I seen the mask. Well, we just stopped for water. Well, help yourself. Take all you want. <laughs> Guess I'll go back to my duties. Huh. I feel like a doggone fool. Tonto and I are heading west. We'll pass the stage and watch along the trail. We may find some sign of these men you're thinking will try to rescue Fleck. Say, if you do that... We will. I... If we see any sign of them, we'll double back and warn the marshal. Oh, that'd be right fine. But listen, mister, them pals of Red Fleck ain't kittens. They're full-grown wildcats. They'd sooner fight with guns than eat. I understand. And they're sly ones, too. They'll shoot from ambush sooner than take chances in a fair fight. Very well. We'll watch for them. Come, Tonto. Me ready. Get them up, scout. Adios. Adios. Come on, Silver. Great Horse Silver set a fast pace down the trail until at last the stage was reached. And after a shouted warning to the marshal, the masked man and the Indian raced on ahead, hoping to spot the ambush laid by Fleck's men. Finally, they slowed their horses to a walk. The stage is a good five miles behind us now, Kimosabe. Not right. That was Fleck in the stage. I recognized him. Ah. Uh -huh. That marshal shouldn't take chances like this. He shouldn't try to guard a man like Fleck alone. Guard with rifle on stage alongside driver. But he could be picked off with the first shots from ambush. So could the driver. Uh -huh. The marshal shouldn't let the girl ride on the stage either. If there's a gunfight, she might get hurt. Wait. Yes? Maybe Tonto see something. Your eyes are keener than mine, Tonto. You look long trail. She lie from sun. Look on left. I don't see anything. Bird there. Him fly. You see? I see a bird flying, yes. What about it? Tonto, no habit of bird. Something in brush near trail. How's that? Bird got baby bird in nest on ground. Yes? And men near nest. Mother bird not like. Mother bird afraid for baby. You think there are men concealed in that underbrush? Not what Tonto think. Wait here, then. I'll go ahead and have a look. No, Tonto, go. You wait. I'd rather go. I'll go on foot and break through the underbrush here. Perhaps I can get close enough to see who's there without being seen. Silver! Silver! 
Silver, come here. Silver, come back, fellow. Him go away. Silver! The great white horse jerked the reins from the Lone Ranger's hand and raced toward the west. The masked man and Tonto watched him. And then... Me go after Silver? Tonto, I hardly... I don't know what to do. Me go after Silver. The marshal on the stage must be warned. If you ride after Silver, you can't ride back and warn the marshal of those men in ambush. Silver got long start. Maybe never find him. Tonto, go after him. But I think... All right, Tonto. Go after Silver. I've thought of a way to help the marshal. Go after Silver, Kimosabe. Get him up, scout! <laughs> Tonto and the Lone Ranger weren't the only ones watching the great white horse as he broke away from his master and raced toward the west. For close to them in a thick patch of underbrush sat Wacker and Steve, two of Fleck's outlaw companions. You're all going to our doings on a part of them two men, Steve. Yeah, and now the Redskins gone after the horse that flashed past here without a rider. Uh, what do you make of it? I don't know, Wacker. I don't know what to make of it. Well, it is none of our business know-how. We haven't but one thing to think about, and that's getting a fleck off in that there stage. You sure he's on it? Yeah, maybe he isn't. But I got it on good authority that he is. We'll find out soon. Yeah. And if he isn't, the marshal won't be there neither. That'll make the stage so much easier to stop. Yeah. Wait, Whacker. Yeah, well, you're going, Steve. Just sticking my head out far enough to take a look up the trail. Don't get seen. Ain't nobody around here to see us. You sure? Sure. No sign of the stage yet? No. But I see a man on foot. Yeah? He's heading the other way from here, heading east. Steve, how can that be? Why? Well, he didn't pass us going east. No. Oh, then where'd he come from? Fleck always said you never used your head. He's right. You ain't using it now. I asked you a question. He didn't pass here because he come from the other way. He come from Grant's Pass. Then his horse got away, so he's footing it back to the pass to get another horse. Oh, he'll have a downright long hike. It's a long ways. Still, it's nearer than any place towards the west where he could get another horse. Yeah. He's keeping right on going. Ain't even looked back. Oh, that white horse was sure a humdinger. Finest I ever seen. I'd like for it to own a beast like that, and Me too. Now what you watching? Same thing. That hombre without the horse? Yeah. Wacker, maybe we should do something about him. Like what? Well, maybe go and capture him and have a talk. What for? Might get the lay of the land east of here. Maybe he'd be able to tell us if he passed a stage coming this way. You say I never use my head. You do the thinking. Yeah. Then if what we do is wrong, it'll be you that'll have made the mistake. Further back on the trail was the stage. And inside, the marshal was explaining to Gene how he had first recognized the Lone Ranger. So when I heard him call that friend of his, Toto... The Indian, you mean, don't you, Marshal? Yes, Miss Jean. That's when I knew it was a Lone Ranger. He was wonderful. Was. He still is. I haven't heard anything about him yet, Miss Jean. Well, I have. Yeah, reckon you have, Flick. You and all the other outlaws in the country have plenty of reason to have heard about the Lone Ranger. I wish I'd known at the time who he was. Where, Miss? Oh, I don't know. I... I would have liked to have talked to him. <laughs> I reckon you would have. I reckon lots of girls would. Oh? But not many get the chance. He don't stay long for talking. I'd like to have a meeting with him. I guess he's sort of bashful around ladies, Miss Jean. I see. If I have the chance, though... Scared like... of ladies. <laughs> Flake, you keep your lip buttoned. You're only here because you got to be, not because we admire having your company. The Lone Ranger. <laughs> I can savvy where a man of your breed wouldn't like the Lone Ranger. Oh, 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 look sharp, guard. Look sharp. What's the matter now? Rick, one move and I'll shoot you first. What are you stopping for, driver? Marshal, stick your head out in the window and look on the trail ahead. What is it? There's a man sprawled there. Looks like he's hurt. He's masked. What? Why, that's a that's man. That's the Lone Ranger. Mercy goodness, what's happened to him? The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
now to continue our story. With Tonto in pursuit of Silver, the Lone Ranger had walked back to meet the stage and warn it of the ambush ahead. But half an hour later, the stage driver reined up before the figure of a man sprawled face up on the trail. A masked man, quickly identified as the Lone Ranger himself. That's the man I was speaking about, the Lone Ranger. Marshal, what have they done to him? Well, I reckon the Lone Ranger isn't so great after all. He don't look so big sprawled on the trail that way. You ornery outlaw flick. If that man's dead, it's your parts that done it. Yeah? Well, driver, that's a matter that calls for proof. Uh, just make dead sure these ropes are tight. Ouch. A rope on your neck will hurt more in a week or so. He can try to bust my arm. Just keep your gun handy, guard. Watch your sides while I make sure he don't get free while I have a look at the Lone Ranger. There. Uh, hope you're satisfied. I am. Leastwise, the murder of the Lone Ranger is one thing you can't blame on me. Enough on you already. It's your parts we want, and we'll get him. I'm going to the masked man. Oh, wait, Mr. Dean. You better stay here in the stage. No. If he's alive, perhaps I can help him. I'll go along. Stay there in the stage, guard. You too, driver. Keep an eye out for a trick. The crooks may have left the lone ranger there just to make sure we'd stop. Ain't no way they could be more sure we'd stop. There, there doesn't seem to be any sign of a wound. Yeah, tell better when we close up. No sign of his horse, neither. That's right. wonder where that big white stallion is at. I don't know. Perhaps... What's his name, Silver? Silver... Perhaps he ran away when the man was hurt. Uh, it ain't like what's been told about Silver. Well, we'll have a look, see. Marshal, listen hurt? closely. Oh, he ain't dead anyway. I'm not hurt. I want you to listen to me. Huh? Not hurt? You, you're not hurt at all? No. Look about you. Do you see any sign of anyone? No one but the crook on the stage and the garden driver. Very well. But I don't savvy. You here, flat on your back? Silver broke loose. Tonto's after him. Tell you more about that later. Yeah, but what do you like this for? Why did you... Flex friends might be able to see us. I dropped here as if I'd been poisoned or been suddenly taken violently ill. I want those men to think I'm helpless. Yeah? But you're not? I'm all right. Then Flick's parts are close by? I think they are. Not sure, but I'm counting on Tonto's observations. What are we to do? Marshal, can you lift me? Uh, Regan, so? Lift me into the stage. Speak for Flex's benefit about the sudden illness. Yeah, boy, savvy. Then have Miss Jean right on top of the garden driver. Understand? Yeah, but why? Do what he says, Marshal. You yourself told me about the Lone Ranger. You got a scheme of some sort? Yes. If someone stops the stage, there's to be no fighting. Understand that? No fighting. The girls on top, the outlaws won't shoot. I'll do whatever you say, Lone Ranger. I'd sure hate like thunder to have flick it out of my hands. Let's see. Gosh, you sure away plenty. Can you manage? I'll manage. I, I might be able to help. You just get the door of the stage open, Mr. Jean. Hold on, Marshal. I'll help you with the masked man. I can manage. Well, so the high and mighty's been knocked out, huh? You shut up, Flick. What's happened to him? Someone get him at last? <laughs> You're right, all right there. Can you get up on the seat, Miss Jean? Yes. Give me your hand, please. Up you come, Miss. You're riding with us, eh? Driver, if there's any sign of trouble, stop the stage and hold your hands up. No fighting. We're to let some crooks get away with sticking us up? Yep. And not even give them a fight? Nope. Uh, Don't surrender on my account. You heard what I said, driver. You too, guard. Uh, well, all right, then. They'll get on board now. They can go on ahead. I like the girl for company better than this mask, Omri. Let's take the mask off and see what he looks like, Marshal. You ain't in a position to choose your company, Flake. Maybe I will be. Pretty doggone soon. Get going, driver. Go on, there. stage rolled on with a girl riding on top and the Lone Ranger pretending to be helpless inside, Whacker and Steve held to their cover beside the trail and waited for the stage to come into sight. Whacker doubted the wisdom of allowing the Lone Ranger to escape. I don't know why we let that masked man get away, Steve. We should have done something to him. There you go again, Whacker, not using your head. Uh, maybe you'll make trouble for us someday. Then you'll be sorry we let him go. He might have made more trouble if we'd have showed ourselves to be in hiding here and he'd got a way to warn the stage about us. Yeah. Hey. Huh? Listen. I hear it. Stage is coming at last. It's about time. Now, what do we do? Just shoot the guard and driver first off? Get your shooting iron ready. Yeah, I am. You take the guard. I'll take the driver. And make the first shot count. <laughs> I don't miss. If you do, you won't get the chance for a second shot. Uh, let's look out and see where the stage is at now. Uh, careful. Yeah. There she comes. Doggone the garden driver. Hey, look. 
Is that a girl on the seat? It ain't no one else. Blast our confounded bad luck. We can't shoot at the girl. Well, we just have to get the drop on them then. That's a fine thing. Get ready now. The first sign of anything funny, shoot. Yeah. I'm ready. Rain up. Rain up there. Hold up and we start shooting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this mean? Please don't shoot. You're covered. The first sign of a gun drawn and we'll let you have it. We ain't carrying nothing of value. Save your breath. We know what you're carrying. It's all right, boys. I've told the marshal what he's to do. He's letting me loose so you don't shoot the girl. Hi, boss. It's good to hear you. Stay right there. I'm getting out. I've got the marshal's gun. <laughs> Hooray for you, boss. Come on, boss. we got everyone covered. If the marshal tries to stop you, yell and we'll shoot. He's getting out now. You crooks, you'll be captured sooner or later. You wait and see. The boss is covering the marshal. Backing away from the stage, Steve. He even got the marshal's gun. Don't talk so much, Whacker. You gonna let us go on now that your boss is with you? Yeah. Whip up those horses and get moving before we change our minds. Thanks. Get on there. Get up there. Fuck it. Fuck it. Get up there. Come on. Come on, boss. You can forget the law now. <laughs> we sure worked that downright slick. Not even a shot fired. You needn't back from the road now, Flick. We still got guns trained on the stage. All right. Hey, this ain't... What the... You... Oh, my hand! Look out! Steady. I'll shoot some more if you make me. It's a mess, man. No, don't shoot. Don't shoot no more, mister. We ain't got guns. You like to bust my hand. I give up. Just let me bandage my hand. That's all I'm asking. Your hand doesn't need a bandage. The bullet just hit your gun. You tricked us. Yes, you had it coming to you. Now turn your face to that tree while I put some ropes on you. It was a trick and we fell for it. This is the way things come out when you use your head for thinking, Steve. Look, mister, we can make it worthwhile if you leave us be. There's nothing you can do to make me set you free. <coughs> He's dressed just like the boss. Fleck was just as surprised as you. He thought I was badly hurt or sick. <sighs> you switched clothes with him. So you'd think I was Fleck when I backed from the stage. <laughs> I'll give him back his vest and hat as soon as I have the chance. You got us, mister. Only look. Ain't there some way we can talk things over? I don't want to hang. You people do. I ain't like Fleck. I ain't a killer. I never killed in all my life. Don't let him hang. Quiet. There's one chance for you to escape hanging. Yeah? Tell the law all you know about Fleck and show where some of the loot of your crimes is hidden. And the jury might let you off with life in jail. Life? But I don't want to spend my life you in jail. You thought about that too late. There. I think those ropes will hold you. Great work, mister. Yes, I'm both. Oh, I was so frightened when I heard the shots. Take them in the stage, Marshal. Now you'll have all three of the crooks to turn over to the sheriff. Uh, by Juniper, this is a great day's work. I sure wish there was something we could do to repay you. I do, too. But there ain't anything anyone can do to repay the Lone Ranger. You're wrong, Marshal. Eh? I want to ask a favor. Well, there ain't an honest man in the West that wouldn't be glad to do what you say. You see, I need a horse. Silver has run away. Golly. I can take the stage the rest of the way one horse shy. I'll unhitch one, Tonto. I noticed that silver horse back in town. He was skittish then. Yes. Tonto's gone to try and overtake him, but I, I'm i afraid Silver won't be overtaken. Say, speaking of Silver. Yes? I noted another horse that was a mighty lot like him. That is a good ways west of here. You did? Yeah, it couldn't have been yours because you was with Silver then. This one wasn't pure white, neither. Oh? What was there I like about him then? It was most white, just one black spot, a star in the middle of the forehead. By cricket, it was the prettiest looking horse I ever seen in all my life. Youngish one, too. About a two year old. Wild? Wild as they come. I had a notion of trying to catch that horse, but when I seen it run, <laughs> well, I thought at that time that there was a horse that come closest to anything I'd ever seen to being like the Lone Ranger Silver Horse. And Silver was nuzzling a colt. I have an idea what took Silver away from me. Look, here comes your Indian friend. Toto. He don't have your horse with him. Oh, no. I... I wonder if we'll ever see Silver again. Tonto, what news? Silver not far. Tonto see him turn north, then turn back. Him not far, but Tonto not get him. I'll go with you then. Perhaps together we can get Silver. The driver's going to let me borrow a horse. I'll get it right away. And Tonto, the driver saw another horse. I think our Silver has a son. Oh. Him go back to Wild Horse Valley, where him leave mate... Long time back. Yes. The colt would have grown by this time. It would be about a two-year-old. Steady there. Look. They're on top of that hill. There's a white horse there. Crikey. He's standing watching down here. Silver. The beauty of him. Wind blowing that white mane and tail. His neck arched. Snow white against the sunset. Why, he, he's like a picture. 
A painting or a statue. Him take look. Long look at good friend. Maybe, maybe you can call to him. Maybe you won't need a horse from the stage now. Yes, and that not do good. Silver there only to, to say goodbye. Silver! He heard you. Look at him standing there. Now he's looking toward the sunset. The valley beyond the hill. Many miles beyond the hill. Silver! Oh, that beautiful animal. He's torn between two loves. He, he's coming a few steps. Now he's stopped again. Call again. I... I don't want to call again. Perhaps someday. But now, if Silver wants to go, I... Well, he's been a grand horse. I believe he knows someone is waiting for him beyond the hill. All right, Silver, old boy. We'll meet again someday. Oh, did you see him? Why, it, it looked as if the sun just swallowed him. Silver. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.